Hi, Clearwater Husky first graders. Aren't you feeling so great that our book is finished? You've done all the parts of the research. You've written everything. You've drawn everything. You did the best um, note taking. It's all done. Now it's time to celebrate. It's time to share that writing. And I'm going to teach you the coolest way to share. And it's so easy. Now what I'm about to show you is also going to be how we record our um, our video memory book for first grade. I'll explain more about that later. And I've written a letter to your parents about that. But for everyone in the first grade, I'm about to show you how to record your um, information about your Habitat book on Flipgrid. So let's share. All right. So what I have up here, it says links for two Flipgrid video projects. Now this is something I sent to my own students. Their parents got this information yesterday and um, we're doing two Flipgrid projects. And I'll, again, I'll, I should explain Flipgrid is a video, um, is a educational video platform that allows um, students to record um, any, anything for school. So it's super simple. As long as your teacher has given you the, the, um, the link to it, which all the teachers have, um, this is the link for just my students. Um, as long as you have that, all you have to do is click on them to go right to Flipgrid. And I'm going to show you what I mean right now. And right here, it says recording your habitats of Indiana video for Middleton kids. This one, but every other class has their own um link sent to you by your teacher so here we go and look at that i just clicked on the link and it takes me straight there isn't that cool now um, i'm going to make myself smaller so we can see all this and this page says habitats of indiana teaching what we learned now remember through all the writing lessons i told you that the reason we write nonfiction, the reason we write informational text is to teach others. And so we're going to teach others um, about our book. Now, my directions might be a little different than your teacher's directions. And the page that um, you see here for mine may look a little different than your teacher's page, but it's the same kind of thing. Um, and so for my class, it says our class has become quite knowledgeable on the topic of Indiana habitats after weeks of research, writing, and creating illustrations for our books. Whew, that was a lot of work. To show off our hard work and to teach others in, in our class about our learning, and I say in our class because you will just be doing this for your own class. My class won't be able to see any other class's videos, and same thing, no other classes can see my class's videos. So, um, but again, it says, um, to show off our hard work and to teach others in our class about our learning, each student will record a short video clip here on Flipgrid. The time limit for each student is for each student clip is three minutes. That means you can go from one minute to three minutes or however long. It says the clip can be shorter if you choose. Um, for my class, and it may be different with your class, but for my class, it says. Um, two options for your video. You can do this one choice. You can choose your favorite habitat and teach us three facts you learn that you learned and wrote about um, for that habitat from your book, or you can teach us any three facts you learned and wrote about in your book. Be sure to tell us which habitat each fact is from. You need to make sure you have your book with you, which I do, and you need to um, click on the large plus sign below to start. So I'm going to do that. And if you scroll down, here's my page. And if I keep scrolling down, there's gonna be a large plus sign right there. So if I click on it, I will go straight away to um, start recording my video and I will, I will be the first one in my class. So I will click on that and it takes me here. This is nothing you have to sign up for. Make sure your parents know that. 
all you have to do is put your name. They don't even have to put their email address. It says it's optional. Optional means you don't have to do it. So there is my first name and last name. That's it. And then I click Let's Go. And I'm all set to record. All I have to do is push this button and it'll cut me off at three minutes. Or if I want to finish earlier than that, I can do that. So um, now I'm not going to give facts like I said that my students have to. I'm just going to give a little um, hello to them. So all I do is this. I push the record and I say, and it gives me a countdown. Hello, Middleton kids. I'm excited to see all your videos for the um, Habitats of Indiana book video clips. Now, I'm on camera right now giving a lesson to the whole first grade on how to use Flipgrid. Um, it is so easy to do. And if you need to uh, watch the video again, you can do that just to make sure you know how to access it. All you have to do though is click on the link that your teacher gave you and once you're into the page, you just have to scroll down and look for that big white plus sign on a green circle. You click on that, type in your name and you're good to go. So you don't even have to sign up for anything. Um, but that is all I wanted to share with you today and it's it probably you noticed down at the bottom that it is um, showing me um, a countdown. It's like a clock. I'm almost halfway done. So I'm going to stop now. I can stop at any time. Um, I can go like this and press pause. And that stopped me. If I didn't like my video, I could redo it. Or if I'm good with it, I like it, then I go to next. Once Hello, I'm on, Middleton oh, and there's my video. To see so it's letting me check my video. The, but I don't need to add more. Or I don't need to review it. Clips. I'm just going to go on to next. And it always asks you to take a selfie. That way it can show you on the main page for Flipgrid all the people that have, um, that have done it. So I'm going to take a quick selfie. There we go. And I'm going to click next. And it says, don't close the window. It's going to load my video. So we just are waiting and waiting. And thank you for waiting. I hope this is helpful to you. Now, while we're waiting, I do want to tell you, um, I'm not going to show you how to get on to the, um, the first grade memory book. And that's for every first grader to record a, their favorite memory of first grade. I'm not going to tell you, show you how to do that right now because the steps are exactly the same as getting on to um, this, um, to the Habitat flip grid. It'll just be a different link. So I guess I talked for a long time because it's taking a long time to load, but thank you for waiting it out with me. 73%, okay, we're almost done. And then when this is done, um, we uh, should be able to see if anyone else has posted a video yet. Probably not, but there could be. Let's see. Okay, submit my video and all I have to do is type in my name. But um, for this one, it says display name. So this will be the name that will actually show on the screen that everyone can see. So since it, my students will see this, I'm going to type in Mrs. Middleton. For you, you just type in your name, first and last name. Um, and you, this part where it says title, you could, if you wanted to, type in student. You don't have to. And you can just leave all that blank. And when you are done, it says submit video. That means turn it in. And it shows me that I did it. So, and then I can touch complete and it shows me that my video was submitted. Remember if you're in my class or if you're in any of the other classes, read that page right when you click on the Flipgrid because it will tell you exactly what you're supposed to do for your assignment, what you're supposed to do in your video. So um, have a wonderful night. I hope this was helpful. And I uh, can't wait to see your Flipgrid videos. Take care.